serious? Alrighty guys, assembling the swordfish from Adam RC or Sky Zone, if you will. And the main purpose of this here video is to show you whether you need tools and if you need tools, what kind of tools you'll need for this plane. Now, I have uh, this uh, needle nose plier over here. I'm not sure if I'll need it, but should come in handy. And I've got a Phillips head screwdriver and I already know that this screwdriver is a little on the short side. For the tail section, I'll have to screw in screws over here and I can probably get to two of them for the last one. Yeah, this will be a little too short, regrettably. So for you, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver that's, well, um, at least, a f well, almost a finger length. Yeah, prob probably this long. Other than that, I haven't seen things for which you'd need tools. And I do, of course, have the instruction manual over here, which is sup isn't super deep detailed, I'll have to tell you. Uh, you get uh, told what you need to do, but not how, basically. Speaking of, the first thing they tell us to do is uh, mount the tail, the two tail sections. And uh, yeah, again, those go together with screws. Let me uh, show you. Well, this is obviously, obviously the tail, and the push shorts will be uh, above, yeah, above the tail sections. You can see that uh, clearly, right? So you, we've got a one tail section without the screw holes, if you will, and one with the screw holes. You can uh, easily tell them apart, right? And the ones without the screw holes is the is that yeah that's the right one the right tail section not the right <laughs> yeah okay the one on your on the right side of the airplane so basically what you do is you push yeah you push that tail section in there you could if you'd want to use glue i guess in fact, you could assemble the entire tail section with uh, CA glue or UHU pour. Um, but uh, that way you wouldn't be able to uh, uh, take it out again. And okay, so in the tail there's a glass fiber tube, a, a square tube, and that should fit around these grooves in the tail section yeah and i must say i'm having a little bit of a hard time getting them around around those grooves or the grooves uh, around the that rod but uh, i must say uh, that that's mostly because uh, the camera is uh, quite a bit in the way of things for me yeah without that it shouldn't be a problem okay and other than that you've got three screw holes over here and obviously the screws will go into the other side into these sleeves over here or grooves so i actually went ahead and uh, mounted the the tail surfaces off screen so I could be sure to uh, tell you <laughs> actual facts in the, instead of uh, speculation, right? So once you've uh, seated, screwed the tail sections in place, the uh, black uh, mounting hardware, the plastic piece, or it's actually dark blue, is almost entirely seated in the fuselage. Right, hopefully you can see that. So that's what things should look like. And the screws you'll be uh, using are the small one and a half uh, centim well actually one centimeter 10, 10 millimeter self tapping screws right so I think those are those might be at least the biggest self tapping screws there might be a little extra screws to uh, put uh, canopies or uh, hatches in other places of the airplane <clears throat> but to mount the tail you've got 
um, actually six. Yeah, six of these screws. I guess uh, three spares. Yeah, from the looks of it, you've got three spares. They are actually hex two, no, three millimeter hex screws. And I was actually able to get all three of them in three via these holes just by uh, pushing the, the hole a bit wider and it's already gone back in place. So, yeah. That, uh, okay, um, you will be screwing into plastic. So don't overdo it, right? Uh, you will definitely feel once the screws are in tight. And again, once you are done, it should look like this with the, only uh, the plastic mounting pieces slightly visible. Okay, then you'll, uh, you can hook up these uh, push rods, the control rods, I should say. Uh, push rods? Yeah, push pull rods. And you will need a, a metal screw, two millimeter or one and a half millimeter screw. Uh, yeah, the manual never says anywhere what screw goes where. Yeah, but uh, for these control rods to hook them up to the control horns, you'll use these approximately 20 millimeter um, M2 screws. Uh, 20 millimeter M2 screws and a self-locking nut to keep them in place and if you're uh, not sure just have a look at the already installed hinge on the elevator uh, ailerons sorry ailerons yeah same same thing but those are already in place so you can check those to see what well how you hook these up uh, I won't do that right now because I first want to set up uh, my flight controller, which we will do in the next video. Okay, so far only a 3mm hex screwdriver. No glue required. Then let's see, uh, the wing spar. Let's uh, put the wing spar in place. Glass fiber pin wing spar. And be sure to not uh, damage your power leads. I'll run them down beneath yeah beneath our wing spar hard shiggy day okay and then uh, let's uh, install one wing the other one uh, will be uh, the same um, I've got a plug and fly version there is also a version without electronics in my case uh, the servos are already in place and in the wings the control rods are already in place and connected to the control horns okay then uh, you obviously go ahead and slide the wing over that wing spar hopefully Yep, okie dokie. And when you're almost there, you go ahead and hook up that uh, XC30 for the power of the ESC, of that motor. And then we've got this uh, multi-connector thing. And does it is it obvious what way goes where yeah um not sure if you'll be able to see that uh, in the video but um, on one side this multi-connector has two tabs on the on the long side maybe you can see it like this there are two tabs over here and those will slot into the connector in your wing just have a look at your wing here is the indentation for those two tabs at the bottom on both instances yeah at both instances of the wing those tabs go at the bottom so again tabs at the bottom Okie dokie, and it's probably handy to flip the plane upside down for this. Yeah, this way you can get to the wires and pull them into the fuselage. You don't want to have those wires in between 
the wing and the fuselage, right? Okay, so then you go ahead and push your wing in all the way. Click. Not sure if you uh, could hear that, but there's a uh, click connector over here. And it also means that you can uh, easily take the planes off of the wings, sorry, off again. Is that true? Yeah, relatively simple. So that's great for transport and uh, storage, right? Click. Super duper easy. That's nice. Yeah, that's definitely nice. Oh, well, then uh, let's do the other wing as well while we're at it to see if both wings at least fit well so far the fit and finish um, uh, the finish well at least the fit is nice and easy i like that okay xt30 for the power and then that uh, connector again it has uh, tabs or ridges which go at the bottom and we are looking at the bottom of our plane, right? So basically they go at the top for us now. Okay, then pull those wires into the, the fuselage. Yeah, it's definitely uh, easiest to do this upside down, so you can pull those wires in. Click! Ha! Huh. Cool stuff, that's pretty, pretty easy. Yeah, that's very nice. Okay, so... That is uh, basically um, most of the assembly, right? Um, you, the plane comes with a couple of foam pieces with which you can cover up these hatches if you want to. I might, uh, yeah, well, probably uh, use this hatch for my uh, FV transmitter. And you've got a hatch over here which you could cover up as well. In case you want to use this plane as an, um, a line of sight plane, very well possible, why not? then uh, you could uh, simply uh, cover those hatches up and be done with it. And you've got another hatch for your GPS receiver over here, your, the hatch, this one. Um, I would have liked a transparent thing for, maybe I'll use some tape actually. Yeah, I'll probably use some tape. So you can maybe see the LEDs of uh, the GPS unit and know what's going on with that. So at this point you can uh, probably, uh, yeah, you could uh, obviously uh, install your propellers, which I won't. I will be uh, installing uh, the push rods for the tail and the propellers uh, after I've set up the flight controller. Right, I don't want to have the, my uh, propellers suddenly spin up for, uh, well, uh, who knows what. So yeah, we'll see in my uh, setup video what that entails. Okay, so we got uh, a couple of wire harnesses with this plane. Here's one, and uh, here's another one, and some uh, wires, and some more wires, and those are presumably for your receiver and your FEB setup. Now, I don't have the version that comes with an FEB setup, if you order the one that comes with an FCB setup, I assume, I can't be sure, but I assume the FCB setup is already installed in that version. Looking at this version, everything that comes with it is more or less already installed, right? And I think there, there isn't a version that comes with a receiver, so you'll have to at least install that receiver yourself. Okay, um, I think that's... is that it? Yeah, um, I've got... Uh, maybe uh, you are aware of this uh, plane and have seen other videos. The plane comes with these plastic pieces. And the manual says... The manual says... Wing fences. 
What the hell? Wing fences. Um, can you maybe use these at the bottom of the wings to prevent damage from landing? Wing fences. I have no idea what these are for. Huh. No, I simply don't know. Again, if uh, you know more than me, let me know in the comment section below. They, these are hard plastic pieces. And uh, yeah, don't know. <laughs> Again, let me know in the comment section below. They would fit here in the tail. Let's have a look. I slot it in like a so. Okay. And I slot the other one in like a so. And then is the plane now leveled? It is. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh no, it isn't. Actually, it. No, it isn't. They actually don't even touch the table. So that's the only obvious place they would fit from the looks of it. And there's no mounting hardware for them. You'd have to glue them in if you'd want to use those. Huh, I, I must admit they look nice, <laughs> yeah, for what it's worth, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Looks like they're intended to go there. Maybe they, they add a little uh, stability. That could definitely be in flight, that is, right? So, interesting. Okay, so other than that, that's more or less the assembly, the base assembly for your plane. And um, yeah, you'd uh, again, if you want to add FB stuff, uh, you'd have to uh, see how that's uh, that's general purpose uh, things, right? How to install FV stuff in your airplane. And uh, maybe I'll do a separate video about that, but there's tons of videos on how to install FV stuff. And it also depends on uh, the FV system you want to use, how to install it. So I won't get into that in this here video. For now, I'd say again, the only tool I really needed was a hex head, three millimeter hex head. I did also use a little bit of tape to uh, make sure the wires for the nav, nav lights, these wires had a tendency to fall out. So I've put a little bit of tape over that and that's it. That's the only things that uh, didn't come with a plane that I used so far. Um, if you are left with questions, hit me up a comment down below. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.